Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of my Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Let's Play. Last time, we were attacked by Bon Karma, and I'm sure he'll deny it when we accuse him, but uh, we're going to start the last day of trial. Warg! Sorry, Nick, I only touched your shoulder. I guess the shock hasn't worn off from my running with the stun gun yesterday. That's not how that works, but okay. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That'll be gumshoe. Yep, pal. I'm not gonna finish this. I, I have a feeling this is gonna take two more episodes. <laughs> I told you, these cases get so long at the end. Okay, we're gonna prove that... What was his name again? Anyways, we're gonna prove that the caretaker remembers. The prosecution submit decisive evidence. Understood. Come on, don't be odd in the silence about every little thing he says. Right. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In yesterday's trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I would like to ask the defense to cross examine him as much as necessary. He's totally changed his style. Okay, ladies and gentlemen of the court, I believe you all remember our witness lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he witnesses the incident, witnessed the incident. In addition, he has currently lost memory of his name and identity. I'm getting tired of the karma. I want him to go down. Er, I'm really sorry about just leaving yesterday like that. But I wasn't running away or nothing. I uh, went to buy some food for Polly, see? I figured I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Or I mean, I, I need one of those motive things, right? I don't got one. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, well. Um. Okay, let me think. The entire point is he has no memory. So I have to go off that. No, no. No, it's this one. Definitely this one. You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Er, uh, yep, seems like it. Then how could you know you didn't have anything to do with this? Uh, or maybe you're lying about not having your memory. Mm -hmm. You know exactly who you are. The witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. What? Um, let's think. Five bucks as we end up um, um, cross-examining the parrot. Well, that was my best guess. I feel like pressing this again, actually. Or, um... Anything new? Anything new? Can do something new? Damn it. Um... I guess... Press this one. Come on. <laughs> yeah, 
He also has something to do with the case. If he remembers, he know. Oh, ah. Come on, ask me to prove it. Ask me to prove it. Yes, I know who the witness is. It's Yanni Yogi. It is. Yeah, it's the dead guy. It's the other dead guy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, Yanni Yogi from the DL6 incidents. Don't take conclusions again, Mr. Wright. However, how do you propose to prove this is the court? I'm gonna to talk to his parrot. Okay, fingerprints might work. <laughs> oh, come on! Stop tisking! Are you kidding me? Really? Of course you did. No, it's not been decided. <laughs> Snap! Yes, there is! Mr. Parrot, Mr. Polly! Do it. Do it! I know you know you want to. Yes! Thank you! Good call, Karma. Ha <laughs> ha! I guarantee Polly knows who he is. Yes, I want to go through with it. Yes. I know it's a her. I guess Polly is a female-ish name. And butts. He didn't rig butts either. And the parrot is back at the lake, so wait an hour. <laughs> yeah, well, um, you have to say its name. Dot dot dot. Hello! 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 Hello, Squawk! Remember, secret words, or code words. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, cross-examining a parrot. Well then. Let's do what we can. True stuff. Polly, have we met? Have we forgotten something? Hello? Hello? Squawk? 
<laughs> hello? Hello? Squawk? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Something the matter, Mr. Wright? Wait, don't tell me Von Karma expected this. He couldn't have retrained the parrot, could he? Um. Um, let's do one of the different ones. Let's do what's your name. Safe number's not important. Polly! Oh, Paul! Polly! <clears throat> Polly! Polly's clock! Of course. Nick, don't you think you're taking a bluffing a little too far? We're not here to answer the question of who is the caretaker. We're here to prove that the he is Yanni Yogi. All we have to do is kind of name Polly to Yogi. Yogi Bear! <laughs> um, well. Well then. Um, no. I didn't. Uh, you. You. Dun dun da Page three. Oh, crap. Um, I don't know which one's the third page. So let's make that up. Back, back, boom. Honestly, that was the only piece of evidence it could have been. Um, we still have to use the metal detector. It's obviously not going to be the parrot. It's not going to be the bullet. It's not going to be the gun. It's not going to be. So it had to be that. That's how I knew it was there. Um. Yes. So what was his fiance's name? Polly Jenkins. Polly. Exactly, Your Honor. You remember the name of his fiance who committed. Whatever. That's why he named his parrot after. That's conjecture. You can't prove that. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, what? Let me think. Think, 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 think. Um. I mean, I guess there's only one thing I haven't done yet. The third, the, the case question. This, not case, safe question. Oh, sorry. One, two, three! One, two, three! <laughs> well, of course it does. Actually, it does. That's why I had her say it. Ha! Huh, ridiculous! How can the number to a safe tell us who the caretaker is? Show us your proof! What could possibly link this care number to the- Ew. Um... Wait a second, I have an idea. Where's the case? Um, check. Boom. Okay, I got this. Present. Um, let's see, it's where the evidence is, asshole. Case summary. <laughs> December 28th. Yes, it is today's date. Ah! <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Wait, your ATM card's number. Well, everyone, you now know. Um, Karma's PIN number, so let's all go commit identity theft. Um, what's the conclusion? True, that is a possibility. However, two coincidences at the same time seems more like a pattern to me. What are you saying? Summon the caretaker of the boat shop immediately! Witness, tell us your name. Wait, this witness, he doesn't remember. No, it's okay. 
Dun, dun. Hello, he stood up straight, and he no longer has a nose bubble. He's been acting feeble to hide his true identity, acting for 15 years. Please state your name for the court. My name is Yanni Yogi. Fifteen years ago, I served as a bailiff in this very court. Da -da -da. Order, order, Yanni Yogi. So it was you who killed Robert Hammonds and tried to frame Miles Edward for his death? Yes. Boom, Edward is innocent. Now you have to prove that he's innocent with the other murder. They put me on the witness stand fifteen years ago. Robert Hammond, he said he was, I was mentally unsound. He told me he would make me innocent and get me off the hook. So I pretended to have a brain damage. I was innocent, really, but he didn't believe me. We won, we won the trial, but I lost everything. I lost my job, my fiance, my social standing. Then this year, 15 years later, a package arrived. It was a letter and a pistol. The plan was written out in careful detail. Detail. It was a plan for me to take my revenge on the people who ruined my life. I didn't care who was sentenced. I thought this was my chance. After 15 years, this was it. Finally, a chance to have my revenge on Robert Hammond and Miles Edgeworth. I have no regrets. Wait a moment! Revenge against Miles Edgeworth? What do you mean? I'm not at liberty to speak on that matter. Why don't you ask Mr. Edgeworth yourself? Anyway, I admit it. I was the one who killed Robert Hammond. Boom. Edgeworth is, Edgeworth is now innocent of one of his murders. Murder accusations. Under arrest, Your Honor. I saw no room for error in his confession. Then the defendant, Miles Edgeworth, is innocent. In this case, at least. Very well. Will the defendant please take the stand? Okay. Hopefully we can find a good stopping point soon. There's no way I have time to finish this in this episode. Um... Any objections? Nope. I don't believe it. Why isn't Von Karma saying anything? Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, NOT GUILTY! Now for the second case. We're not done here yet, people. Not a chance in hell. Not a chance, not a chance, not a chance. That is all. The court is adjourned. OBJECTION! Right there. Yep. Called it. Well, that was an evil smile. <laughs> no! Edgeworth, what are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do it! Um, raise an objection. Definitely raise an objection. Yes, it did. Snap! He's right. Dang it. Edgeworth, I hate you. Again. <laughs> Yes, from the distance of the shot, it wasn't suicide either. Everything was as clear as day. The murderer, the criminal, and the DL6 incident. It was me, Your Honor. I confess my guilt. I'm guilty of the DL6 instead of the imitation change today. <gasps> the culprit is me! Oh, order, order! This is certainly unexpected. The defendant declared innocent is confessing to a different crime. The crime for which the statute of limitations is not today. I'm not really sure how I should deal with this. But it's obvious. We hold a trial. Right here, right now. We tried this man for this crime 15 years ago. <laughs> I think I think I would like to take a five minute recess. During this time I will consider the appropriate course of action to take. Court is adjourned. Of course you're going to be continuing. December 28th, 2.24pm. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Okay, let's, I have a couple extra minutes. Let's do this bit. Mr. Edgeworth, I just don't believe it, pal. I mean... You killed your dad? I didn't want to believe in myself, Detective. But it's, it's the truth. I deserve to be punished. Murder is murder, no matter what the circumstances. This is crazy! Just crazy! Nick, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, I was just reading through the court rec record once more. I'm getting my case ready. In case? For what? Huh? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to prove that Miles Edgeworth is innocent. What are you talking about, pal? He just admitted to it. He confessed that he did it. Well, he doesn't remember it. The truth is right here in this court record. 
In any case, tighten your belts. The real fight is just beginning. I'll prove your innocence. Trust me. Right. Okay. Well. In the next episode, I believe we will finish up case number four. Turnabouts goodbye. Turnabout goodbyes, rather. See you then.